Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a timer using VBA Excel. On this worksheet, I have a cell, B1, formatted to time, and it's just set at zero right now. And I have this red rectangle connected to this user form. And I'll show you this in the Visual Basic Editor as well. If you right click on this rectangle, you can see that it's assigned to a macro named open form a subroutine named open form. So if I go over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see that this subroutine open form just has one line of code, main.show. Main is the name of this user form, the one I brought up in the worksheet. So on this user form, main, I have a command button with a caption start timer another with a caption increment, and this one text box. So if I double click on the start timer command button, you can see the code for the command button one, that command button, the start timer one, and command button two, which is the one that has the increment caption. For command button one, I just have this subroutine reset, which I'll show you in a moment. And for command button two, text box one value equals text box one value plus one. So this just increments whatever value is entered into text box one. And, that, and that's really just here to demonstrate how we can have functions operating on the user form while the timer is running. So I have a module here named M1, and that's where the code for the timer is contained. And you see there are two subroutines. One is named timer and the other reset. So first I have this variable count declared as a date. So dim count as date. And I'm going to start with the subroutine reset because that's the one called by command button one, by the start timer button. First we have RNG declared as a range. We set this RNG variable to be equal to cell B1 on the active sheet. And that's the cell that I have formatted for time with the green. I'll show you here, this cell here. Next we have this value being equal, the range.value being equal to the range.value minus time serial 0, 0, 1. Then we have this if function that ends the timer when the range dot value, when the value of the range is less than or equal to zero. That's going to exit the subroutine. So if we want code to run before we exit the subroutine, we'd put it right here above the exit sub code. In this case, I just have a message box that reads timer has reached zero. And I've locked the text box on the main user form. So whatever value is in there stays in there and it can't be edited. And if, and then we call the timer subroutine, moving up here to the timer subroutine, the variable count equals now plus the time value one second. And then the second line of code in the subroutine timer, application.onTime count comma reset which is the subroutine here. So you can see we just keep moving back and forth between these two subroutines until the range dot value is less than or equal to zero. Then we exit. So let's take a look at how this works on the worksheet. Back to the worksheet, I'm going to change this time to read 15 seconds. So I'm going to put 15 seconds on the timer. I'll move over and click this red rectangle to open up the main user form. So we have 15 seconds on the timer. I'll click start timer and you can see this is counting down and it's updating B1, cell B1. When it reaches zero, I'll get that message box that says timer has reached zero. And if I move into text box one and try to enter a value, nothing will happen. So I'm going to close this and reset this 
timer again, this time for 20 seconds. And move back and open up the main form. And in this example, I'm going to start the timer. And I'm going to enter the value 25 in the text box and click increment. You can see every time I click the increment button, the value increases by 1 in the text box. Notice that when the time runs out, we get the message box. If I click increment now, it's still going to work. So this text box is locked, but that doesn't prevent the code from changing the value. So I can't type anything in this text box using the keyboard, but I can click this increment button and it'll still increase the value in that text box. I hope you found this video on creating a timer using Excel VBA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.